This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Gamefly. Looks like it's time for another website we just can't get enough of. A website that we just can't stay away from because it's too useful, too funny, or just too darn irresistible. This week's pick, Incompetex Royalty Free Music. Hey, do you have a video or audio project that needs a snappy sound bed but don't know where to turn? Check out Incompetex Royalty Free Music by Kevin McLeod. He hosts an impressive amount of audio files on his site, all of which can be used royalty free as long as you give him proper attribution. First, you want to pick a song by either searching for something, looking through the genres here, or doing feel. Let's try something uplifting. Mm -hmm. Yes. We hit the search button, and then we see the tracks that are available. Um, you can sample the song before you download. You can read about the track, um, and even check out the sheet music where it's available. That's pretty cool. You can click on the PDF, and then you can see the actual sheet music. Very awesome. To credit Kevin, simply add his name to your credits or put a link in the More Info section on YouTube. He also has a $5 suggested donation per track as well, so help support the man for crying out loud. He gives really good tips on what to do if his music is contested on YouTube, which actually seems to happen pretty often. Not just with him, but with music in general on YouTube. People like to throw a fit and be like, that's my music, even when it's not, just to get the video pulled down. It's obnoxious. Um, but he's got some really cool, unique tracks um, that can be added to your latest video endeavor. So check it out today at incompetech.com slash m slash c slash royalty dash free. And thanks to OMG Chat over at Twit for the suggestion. All right, we got this video question from Cameron who asks, hey Texilla, I was wondering what free burning software for Windows you would recommend for burning disk images. I want to make an Ubuntu install disk. Please help. Love the show. Cameron in Bedford, Pennsylvania. All right, so just so you know, you can burn a DVD from an ISO file within Windows itself. Microsoft has the instructions on the web for doing this, but it's actually pretty easy. They give all the instructions there. You just click on, you know, go to computer, go to the disk, the ISO, double click on it, select which burning software you want to use, if not their own. There you go, done. And I know you're a big fan of ImageBurn. ImageBurn has been out for quite a while. It's a good free open source piece of software. Uh, it supports just about any task you're looking to do as far as disk creation goes. A couple of other nice things about this, even if you're not very tech savvy and you go ahead and select one of these particular project types to do and you don't know all the ins and outs with the particular you know, file format or whatever you're doing, the program actually guides you through it quite a bit and it will a it'll ask you to correct, you know, hey, we thought you were trying to burn an audio CD yet you're trying to do it as a data disk, would you like to correct that on the fly right now? And it's like, oh yeah, I'll just do it for me. And, uh, and if you're trying to, you know, basically burn a, image file with image burn, you just load up the program, you basically switch to the right mode, insert the disk into the burner, select the image file you want, and click right, and you're done. It is really that easy. And for the other projects that I mentioned, it's just nice to be able to have a tool that looks at what you're trying to do and offers just tips to prompt you to the correct way of doing it. Yeah, definitely. Another option is Burnaware Free, um, which has a pretty slick UI as well and also has some paid versions that give you a few more features, like the ability to burn ISOs to multiple drives simultaneously. You can see a comparison of the paid versions on their site as well, but free should serve you just fine, as far as I can tell. Um, plus, both apps support Blu-ray burning if you need something to help you back up data to oh, a nice. Blu-ray blank disk. Um, Any way you shake it, it's a really easy process, and enjoy your new Ubuntu install. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Hey, longtime fan Jason wants to know, I'm a big fan from all the way back to the screensaver days. Nice. When I watched episode number 308, you covered RAM disk products and it raised the, raised the, the question for me of loading the operating system onto an SD card and booting from uh, the card for uh, instant on capability. I have an Asus U81A laptop running Windows 7 and I'm using a 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card currently for ready boost only. Can it be done or is it just a pipe dream if not? Are there any low, no-cost suggestions in your bag of happy ideas? <laughs> Signed, Jason in Oregon. Yeah, hmm. So although booting Windows from a USB flash drive has been done, um, totally. we've done something similar with Linux distros and BART PE. Um, our luck with removal of flash media like SD cards, though, hasn't been quite so successful. <laughs> Part of the issue is that some card readers don't show up as bootable devices with the PC's BIOS, even if it supports booting from a USB flash drive. That said, GroovyPost.com has a tutorial on the process. 
Force, if we want to take a look at that. Um, the instructions do state you need at least a four gigabyte SD card. We have not yet attempted this, but if any of you have, please let us know. Email us, texella at revision3.com. Totally, and I've also used, uh, for Windows 7, they're starting with Windows 7 actually, Microsoft provides their own tool as well that you can basically download and copy that ISO uh, or your, take, your, take your Windows disk basically and get that content onto a USB drive. And that, that four gigabyte limit or minimum they recommend is really just so you can fit the whole ISO image for whatever OS you're trying to work with onto a drive. I usually take any eight gig or larger key Usually plenty of room that way. Yeah. They I provide all seven, the tools and instructions. I thought Windows 7 was like 7 or 8 gigs on a, it can on a thumb drive. Depending Whatever. on how you strip it down to get it yeah. on there. But it's just compared to installing an operating system uh, from a disk compared to a USB key, USB keys are so much faster, especially in the initial spin up and the read of the files that are being copied over to the hard drive. It is just, uh, if you're doing even semi-regular OS installs, being able to put it on a USB key is just the way to go. I'm starting to see a trend with Microsoft just happen happening to have the tools that we're looking for for any given situation right now. It's, it's, it's like, it's, yeah, you can find this stuff, or Microsoft also has it for free built into your OS already. And if you're dealing with notebooks in particular that might not even have an optical drive, or you lost or broke your optical drive, having the OS on a USB key that's you know, not only is it the speed part, but gives you more flexibility in being able to install that OS onto other products that you might not be able to easily do it, or you have to finagle it other ways, but consider that. Very do cool. It. All right, we've got more of your viewer questions and also some of your feedback, but first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Gamefly, people, it's the largest online video game rental service around. You get to choose from over 7,000 new and classic games for all consoles and handhelds. Plans are cheap, they start at just $15.95 a month. No late fees, no due dates, and shipping to and from your house, always free. And because you're a Gamefly member, you can rent up to four games at a time and keep them for as long as you want. You finish playing a game, you send it back, Gamefly is going to send you the next available game on your list. If you really like a game, click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. We're talking about cheap deals here, people. Gamefly, they're even going to mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Now, because you're watching Techzilla, we got a deal for you. Techzilla fans, you get a 15-day free trial. Just go to Gamefly.com slash Techzilla. Do us a favor, support our sponsors like Gamefly because they're bringing the show to you. Gamefly.com slash Techzilla. 